that's a good question. <laughs> Hey y'all, welcome to Stiver's Homestead. I'm Zach. And I'm Jen. And today, Jen is canning spaghetti sauce. First, I gotta make it. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but you're gonna see it all in this video. So I thought I would go ahead and shoot to the end there to make what you expect. Yeah. Um, so if you saw the last video, she kind of teased into this. Um, I'm gonna let her talk about what she's doing and then we'll just take y'all on the process. Yeah. Okay, so we have lots and lots of tomatoes from our garden and Grammy Karen and Graybeard's garden. So I have been cutting those up. Um, some of them are not ready yet, so I'm just going to put those on the windowsill and let them get more ripe. But I've been cutting off the tops and coring them and getting all the bad spots out. And then putting them in this turkey roaster because we're going to make spaghetti sauce. So I'm actually going to add a whole lot more to this here in a minute and I'll show you what I put in it. Alright, so she just chunked up some big zucchini and squash and threw them right there in the pot. Are you trying to just go with everything to be about the same size? Yeah. Is that the go? Yeah, it's all going to cook down and mesh together, but... This is really just for fitting purposes, <laughs> like cutting it, cutting it so that it'll all fit because I still have a lot to add. Yeah, you're already to the rim there, babe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we got zucchini and squash in. We just used some of our random zucchinis and squash that we had just trying to use up the harvest. We put some onions in, just kind of big chopped them. I guess quartered them is the right term probably. Yeah, quarter. Quartered them. <laughs> And now we are putting some of our peppers in. We had a huge pepper harvest. When I say huge, I can't even explain what huge means. It's like 10 bags over there. Probably what? How many pounds? Uh, well, peppers are super light, but mm -hmm. I would still probably give you 20 to 30 pounds. Yeah, 20 yeah. to 30 pounds. And that was a lot. They would have kept going, but we had to take them out because, quite frankly, we were done and the cows needed to be moved. <laughs> yeah. So we're putting a lot of those peppers in, those red peppers. What are they called again? The Roulette Heatless Habaneros. They're my favorite pepper ever. I mean, I, tr I mean it. Like, they are the best pepper ever. They're so sweet, so fresh, and so good. So we're throwing a bunch of those in, and then we're throwing some small bells in, and then I think we're going to call it that. So why are we throwing all this in a pot? Well, because we're making spaghetti sauce, and because we have a lot of stuff that needs to be used up, and it's just going to make it that more flavorful, and it's going to be really, really good. It's not going to be like a bland kind of spaghetti sauce. It's gonna be real yummy. So I'm excited about it. Um, it's gonna cook down for a really long time and it's gonna smell really good. And I think it's gonna be- It's gonna smell fantastic. It's gonna, see, yeah, it's gonna be fantastic. I think it's gonna be one of the better spaghetti sauces that we've made and can. Okay, we're not gonna add any liquid. We're just gonna put the top on. Plenty of room. And actually we need to plug it in first, but no. after we <laughs> plug it in- Hang on, just hang on, let me plug it in real quick. <laughs> Okay, we got it plugged in and we're gonna turn it up to 325. This is the turkey roaster. We just got these. We got a bunch of them and we love them. Um, but you don't have to use that. You could use a crock pot or your oven. You could use a big pot on the stove, whatever you really wanted to use. Okay, it's the next morning and we are ready to blend this so it looks really really good it smells amazing it did cook overnight i did end up turning it down to about 150 um, just because i didn't want it to be too hot overnight and i think it did really well i mean everything stayed warm everything's tender and it looks amazing so actually before bed last night i ended up adding probably 10 more tomatoes it reduced down a lot really quickly and that kind of made me nervous so um, we went and picked some tomatoes from my garden and I, yeah, I think it was about 10 or so that we added and that brought it back up to the rim and then I put one more squash and one more zucchini in and then I threw in some leftover onions that we had from dinner um, and that raised it back up and then it reduced down to about that much so not bad so now we get to blend it it's done what do you think the one Look at that! So I actually used this little 
immersion blender that I think I got from Ollie's and I was a little bit skeptical but it did a really good job. So now that's all blended up and we're gonna put our spices in. Tell them which one then they're going. I'm gonna just start with that. Okay, so that first one there is basil. I am totally guessing on all this. Um, this one is oregano, so I'm gonna taste it and see what it, if it has enough or if we need more. Next is minced garlic. No, we need a lot of that. Never have too much garlic, especially in spaghetti. <laughs> Amen to that, sister. Use a whole jar. Yeah. Nice. Next is tomato paste. You put tomato paste in there? Yep. Yeah, watch. Sometimes she just got to get it going. Do I come and ask you what you did and didn't do on your video? <laughs> I don't think I did. Well, see, I'm the one that has to do the description. And I didn't know what you told them, what you didn't tell them, because they will definitely tell me about it. <laughs> Ooh, I smell it. <gasps> you know what? I can this. I'm on my period. Oh my god. Well, I can can it. <laughs> I swear. <laughs> I thought you'd have put like <gasps> honey in it or something that ruined it. Alright, next is brown sugar. Can't go wrong with brown sugar next. That's right. Unless you're diabetic. <laughs> <laughs> then you can definitely go wrong. <laughs> More brown sugar. Maybe a fourth a cup of liquid aminos and a few tablespoons of Worcestershire. We do we? Some salt. Some <laughs> salt <laughs> Meat and lunch. And last but not least, some red pepper flakes for a little spice. Okay. <laughs> and then start it out. <laughs> start it out. There we go. That tomato paste already made it thicker, so that's good. It means we're not gonna have to reduce it as much, which I hate doing, because I feel like you lose everything. But I always end up having a really thin spaghetti sauce because I don't like doing that part. And we don't want that this time. We want a thick spaghetti sauce. So whatever we have to do, we'll do it. Yeah. Taste test. Taste test. Come to it. It's hot. Hot. Jesus, <laughs> feed that lot. Um, it, it, I mean, it definitely tastes like spaghetti sauce. Um, it tastes a little extra tomatoey though. How can we kill that down a little? Try. It. Some point. <laughs> I know, but you know what I mean. The flavors on though, with the oregano and basil. Oh, that's good. They're really good. It, but then mm. it kind of tastes a little tomato soup. Maybe it's the paste. Maybe it just needs to incorporate a little bit more. Mm -hmm. and um, a little thicker. That might, yeah, you're probably right. That probably will change it. What do you think? Do you need anything? 15, 20. I have, I have an idea. Uh oh. 
Okay, so I made the kids spaghetti last night because it's their favorite meal. We didn't want it, so I just made like a small pot of it. So I actually have some leftover spaghetti sauce, the one that they like. It's just a traditional ragu or prego, prego. So we're gonna taste that, then we're gonna taste this, and we're gonna see how close I thought you were gonna pour it in there. Because it. the whole goal of this is to make it so that the kids will eat it this winter, and I yes. can spit by in this crap, because it's full of sugar. Yep. Not that I didn't just put brown sugar in mine, <laughs> but, but it's different. This it's, has preservative. At least it's our brown sugar. We, we, it. <laughs> we might have some uh, spaghetti sauce. There, it's something. Got no spaghetti. And I think it might be sugar, to be honest with you. It's sugar. It's definitely it's sugar. Yeah. That's what the difference is. Yeah, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you want to do that or not, but that's Hang definitely on. what it is. See. All your other flavors are there. Mm -hmm. Tomato. Diced. Tomato paste. What's the juice? Diced tomatoes. Tomato juice. Juice. Sugar. Sugar oil. Salt. salt. Onions. Spices. Citric acid. The hydrated garlic, onion, and garlic. Yeah. So, it's, so just it's just the sugar. sheer amount of it's, sugar. Yeah, there's a lot of sugar in that. I mean, it's, it's basically sweet. It's like a dessert. Yeah. Well, maybe just let it cook down a little bit more because maybe it'll start infusing that sugar a little bit as it melts in. <clears throat> maybe. But it definitely needs to get thicker. Mm -hmm. But we can add a tomato paste if those two don't do the job. Okay, oh. so I'm going to leave it open. You're going to leave it open? And see if that will cook it down. I'd really like to get this cam today. We'll see. Quick update, she brought it to a boil, and then now we're back on a simmer, yes. and then we tasted it, and now that the ingredients have had a little bit more time to incorporate, mm -hmm. it's much sweeter, mm -hmm. so the sugar that was you know already added has now incorporated a little bit more. And it might have been maybe a cup for the whole 22 quarts, so in relation to how much sugar is in a jar of spaghetti sauce, that's an amazing uh, What you put in there is probably what's in one jar yeah. of, of actual store-bought tomato sauce. Um, so I think we're definitely there. Uh, it's kind of like chili, right? When you make chili, the yeah. longer it sits and incorporates together, the better it tastes. Um, so I think it's the situation here. So she's going to let it simmer for, I don't know, we just keep yeah, checking just it. Check it. Keep checking it and see if it uh, gets any more thicker um, or if we need to get some more tomato paste. But I'm flavor is on now. I'm excited. I think it's going to be a good thing. I just yeah. want to get it right because I don't want to waste this and right. just have it in the pantry. I want to eat it this winter and not have to buy spaghetti sauce. I agree. And that's actually, I just really randomly thought about this, but it's 22 quarts. Obviously, it's a little down. I don't mm -hmm. know. We don't know if we exactly nailed it. Um, but it gives you a pretty good idea of how many quarts it's going to make. Yeah. Yeah, because it's actually quarts. Right. It's a really random thought in my head. Yeah. But if it was completely full, it should make 22. It should. I'm, I'm going to guess 18. I'm going to guess 17. 17? Yeah. What's your odds guess? Let's put it down below. How many How many do you think that'll be? It's a 22 quart. You can see the level right there. How many quarts do you think it'll fill up? Okay. So, as this stuff is simmering down, we know we're about probably an hour away of canning. So because this is water bath, you need to get your water bath filled up and start getting warmed up. It takes a considerably long amount of time because there's so much water in the pot. Um, so you want to get it going, get it hot. Um, Jen has been working on sterilizing the jars and she's getting the bands um, and some hot water for them to just stay in that hot water there. You want everything hot since it's a hot pack. Um, let's see if that's enough, I'll let Jim look. However, biggest point here is get your water bath going so you don't have to sit around and wait too long. <laughs> All right, y'all, before we get into this, because we have so many things in flight and we have so many things we need to do, I need y'all to do me a favor and see all that Jen has done today. Just let her know, she's, she's killing it. She's doing a lot. So these are picked green beans today, snapped and cooking for dinner. This dehydrator is full of cherry tomatoes that she cut up and are dehydrating. If you've never done this, it's fantastic, by the way. They're like sun-dried tomatoes, and they're so good. But she cut up four full trays of those. And then she separated cream, and we've got one, two, three, four, five, six logs of butter, an entire half gallon of buttermilk, another, there's another quart somewhere, and another whole gallon of cream in the back um, that she separated out. And, of course, we got three more full gallons of milk that are loading back up. So shout-out to all you country mamas out there. 
on top of homeschooling too, have to add, have to add that into the day. Uh, you all do a lot, and there's always a lot that's left on the plate to do. Like we have a bunch of peppers that we need to start tackling, um, and we're canning spaghetti sauce. Um, it's insane. You all are amazing. You're amazing people. The amount of work you do is so much. Quit fearing the stuff on the list. Look at the, all the accomplishments you did in a day, and kudos to you. All right, country mama, what's the next steps? <sighs> get the lemon juice. Get the lemon juice. So we're gonna get the jars out. Um, we'll tell them about the lemon juice here in a second and we're gonna start filling them up. Yes. Okay. Okay, so if you have this normal, is this Presto? Do you know? No. It was Roll King brand. We got it Roll King. I don't know. Anyways, I don't know how many quarts this water bath canner is that we have, but it holds seven. We know that. And I think it's a pretty normal size water bath canner, so if he's curious, there you go. So she's getting seven out. That's just the ones you get at Walmart. <clears throat> oh, we got our Jerome King, I remember. No, that was the pressure canner. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. All right. Whatever. Mm -hmm. So, what are you doing? All right, so I'm going to start ladling. We're using quartz. Start ladling it into the jar. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. You have to be out of this part. Stop doing what you're doing. Some of y'all gonna think we crazier and sin up in here. Um, ladies, <laughs> if it's that time of the month, get out of the kitchen when it's canning time. Yes. You can do the cooking part, but you can't do the canning part. You're gonna have false seals. Mm -hmm. I don't care. I don't care. Yeah, I don't care if you don't believe it. Yeah. Don't do it or try it and see them unsealed. Yeah, I so, forgot about it, but thankfully this is the easy part. So yeah. I'll yeah. just instruct it. Yeah, she has start, but she cannot touch. Okay, so Zach's taking over that. Yes, he's going to put two tablespoons of lemon juice in each quart jar. And that'll be easy, and then he'll start filling them up. Also, a lot of people asked about my canning mat. I did not make that. I wish I had. I wish that I had that talent, but I don't. Um, it was a gift from someone, but it's beautiful, and I love using it. And it just, I don't know, it just adds a special little touch to the canning process. Wow, it's going to be a little taste tester here for us. Mm -hmm. Baby. I want you to know, or I want to know how good you think it is. He came down saying, are we making spaghetti? And so that's a very good sign that it smells like spaghetti sauce because it's homemade spaghetti sauce. Okay, it's ready. Mm, it's a little hot, but it does taste like spaghetti sauce. Is it as good as the spaghetti you eat? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, try it again. <laughs> okay, now that I got a lot, there's a little bit not like it, but. All the others is like it. But do you like it? Yeah. Will you eat it on spaghetti? Maybe. <laughs> oh gosh. Killing us. Alright, it's time to fill up. Jen is nervous because I make messes and break things. Yeah, let's clean it up. It's too full. Yes. Too full. <laughs> <laughs> it's too full. You got the supervisor on my back over here. <laughs> Okay, next he is going to put some white vinegar on his paper towel and he's going to wipe all the rims and just make sure that nothing sticky is on there and make sure that they're all clean so that we don't have any kind of bad or false seating. Okay, and next we've got some brand new regular mouth lids. Steam, <laughs> Steam everywhere. Uh, brand new regular mouth lids that he's going to put on and then I'm going to get my bands out and we're going to put those on fingertip tight. The only problem with Zach doing this is he has a hard time with just doing fingertip tight. The thing is I am doing fingertip tight. It's just well, my his, fingertip yeah, tight. is a whole lot harder than my Not fingertip everybody's tight. fingertip tight's e equal here. Right. So that's the only issue with him doing it. But I wouldn't do it easy though. He's going to do it easy and hopefully it'll be fun. <laughs> Um, but, the, you know, if you had an issue with that, if it was too tight, most of the time when you get your jars out of the canner, your lids will have been buckled. So 
you'll be able to tell right quick that that was a no-go and you'll want to recan that. And next time, do it looser. And next time, do it looser. Fingertips, not fists. <laughs> okay, so because I've failed so many times, Jenna's told me, so this is how I fingertip tight because when you twist it on, that's it. Yeah. So like, it's my just move to then go, you right. know, give that's it an what extra. Used to do. Right now, I know that's it. So yes. like, I know that's not tight <laughs> in my head, and as like a dad, it bothers me. But hey, I understand now. <laughs> yeah. Where's our grippers? Uh, that's a good question. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you the proper technique to use these little grippers. <laughs> the black pieces go down. I'm just kidding. But that's how I used to do it, and that's how they. Uh, Promote it on their boxes. Uh -huh. Just their FY. Yep. All right, we're just gonna easily put those in there. Do the balancing act. Get them on there. And just remember, with water bath canning, the water needs to cover the entire yes. jar and the lids. At least by an inch, just to be safe. And we probably have too much in here, but that's okay. We can get it out. Over here. Huh? Coming in wrong? Nothing. You're shooting me. I'm not doing it wrong, just not the way I would do it. What's <laughs> that? When you get. When next week you can do it. <laughs> yeah, we're going to have way too much of it, I believe. Okay, we had to take just a little out, but now it's perfect. They're covered by an inch, and we're going to put the top on and bring that back to a boil. Yeah, big key point there. Your timer doesn't start till you're back to a boil. Don't yeah. start your timer yet. Okay, we're back to a full rolling bowl, so we are going to water bath these for 40 minutes since they're quartz, and then we'll come back when it's done. Okay, 40 minutes is up, so we're going to get these out of the canner, and then we're going to put the next round in. FYI, always open your lid away from you, right. just in case you didn't. And steam. That. Steam is hot. Steam burns. Ready? Yep. Ooh, it looks like it's thickened up too. Yep. In the cooking. Look how pretty. They're beautiful. I'm so excited about these. Best thing you can can all year if you like spaghetti, that is. <laughs> okay, so in total, it is going to make 15, well, 14 and a half quarts. We're going to save that one and use it here soon. How exciting is that though? And I won because I said 17, so I was closest. She won dollared me. And I priced like it right price, in. Yeah, she did. <laughs> she just went under. Won. Under so, on me on one. I wish that it had made like a million more because it's so good, but who knows? We might do another round. What do you think? Oh, God, yeah. Yeah, and then maybe some chili. Yes. Mm -hmm. The last round is in. Those are sealing, so we'll talk about this here in just a second. However, they're going to sit there overnight. We'll take the bands off tomorrow and make sure everything's sealed. They're done. Wow. <laughs> Time to get them out. <laughs> oh my gosh. Mama sounds tired. This poor kitchen has just been ran through today. <laughs> oh, it's a mess. Look at the sink. Could be worse, but oh, it's bad. Hey, it could be worse. We could have had a jar break. We could have, we could have had seals bending because yep. I tied them too tight. Yep. And I would like to say that I had none, none. do that. Thank it's goodness. my first time ever. But we're almost done. It's almost 8 o'clock at night. Yeah. So those are going to sit, like he said. We are not going to touch them for 24 hours. Tomorrow, we will make sure they're all sealed. Take the rings off. Wipe the jars down. Make sure there's no residue or stickiness or whatever. And then we'll get them stored in the pantry. Man, that looks good, though. There's nothing like getting done with the day's worth of canning. No, all of that is food for your family so, in the pantry. It's awesome. It is. Good day, boo. <laughs> oh my goodness, what a productive day. So, we shot this on Monday. Y'all know Mondays are just, you know, always crazy anyways coming off the weekend. So, to have 14 canned jars of spaghetti and a half that'll go into our fridge um, that we'll probably eat this week. I'm yep. um, to test it out because that's a hard thing about candy. You don't want to wait. You want to mm -hmm. eat some of it. Um, all that butter we made. Yeah. Um, all the dried herbs that are above mm -hmm. the window. The tomatoes that are uh, dehydrating. Cream separation. Yeah. 
on top of the other chores and homeschool and all those things, Steve. <laughs> um, it was a very good Monday. Hope you all are starting to have a really good week. Um, if you haven't can, please remember to try. You got to try. You got to get that first round out of your system and make fails, failures, and fall forward. Um, you will get there, we promise. Um, but there's nothing more satisfying than saving food back for your family. Especially, she went to the grocery today too. Man, it was empty. So yeah. <laughs> you know, even better to make yeah, sure you maybe get some. If you can remember, put some pictures on the end. It was weird. Yeah, like real bad. Um, which when we go to the grocery, it's mainly just got like snack stuff. Yeah. Um, we don't buy any meat and any veggies. Really, it's just yeah. like, here and there stuff, coffee, things like that. Um, but anyways, that's not what we're getting into. <laughs> But it's always good to have your own safe space of food mm -hmm. um, if you want to get to the things that you needed. But y'all, if you haven't subscribed, make sure to down below. We love you. Until the next one. Bye. Bye.